what you guys today we're taking a look at one setting that can help rescue windows 10 or windows 11. now if you're having issues with windows sometimes trying to rescue your operating system can be very difficult but with this setting it's going to help you be able to recover your system if we take a look inside the windows directory and then go down to system 32 here we're going to go inside here and inside the actual config folder you'll see a folder called regback now regback has been around for a fair while and if you go in here you'll see there is no data available that means if you ever wanted to use a backup of these registry files you won't be able to because it is disabled by default now by windows but i always believe that it's always good to have a safety net and these can help you get out of a jam sometimes so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can set this up. So first off, go to search and type in here reg edit. This will open up the registry editor. So let's go ahead and click on the registry editor. And here we have our registry. Inside here, we're going to need to navigate to a location so we can enable a key. So go to H key local machine. Once you've clicked on H key local machine, we're going to need to navigate down uh, to system and then open up the system one here so let me go ahead and do that inside here we're going to go to current control set open this up and you should see a folder called control so we need to open up the control folder then what we need to do here is we need to come all the way down so let me just drag this down here and what we're looking for here is session manager so let's try and find a session manager it's down here. I think I've gone past it. There it is right there. So what we need to do is go up to session manager, click on that one. And what we need to do is open this up. And then we need to look for uh, configuration manager here. So once you're on configuration manager, we can now uh, go to the right hand pane here and create a new key inside configuration manager because we need to create a new registry key. So go right click new D word 32 bit value. And now we need to give this key a name. So we're going to be calling enable and we're going to be doing periodic backup. And there we go. So just go uh, periodic backup. And then once that's done, we can then double click on this. And we need to give this a value of one. And this will enable this feature. So let's go ahead and put the value of one here. Click OK. And that's now done. And now we can close off the registry editor and restart our PC. So we need to restart the PC before we can configure this and get this set up. So go down to start and then click on here, little power button and restart your PC. And once you've restarted, you should get back to the desktop. So we're back at the desktop after restarting our PC. And what we're going to need to do now is I'll quickly show you the folder here now because the folder was empty before. So let's go into the C drive here and we're going to go back down to Windows, then System32. So go down to System32 here and then go into Config. If we go into Config here and then go back into the reg back, you can see here there is now some files in here, Default, SAM, Security, software and system but they are zeroed that means they have got no data in them so you can't use these for recovery i see so many youtube videos showing how to recover from regback but they have no data in them so what you need to do is put some data in them inside here you can see those areas here these are our active registry files software security sam and default and so on they do have data in them but these are the ones that could get corrupted and we're going to use the reg back to obviously uh, revert back to a working state. So what we need to do is go to search and type in here task scheduler. And once you've got that done, you can click on the task scheduler app. This will open up the task scheduler app here. And we need to now go to where it says task scheduler library. Open this little tab. Go to Microsoft and open up the Microsoft tab here by the little tiny arrow on the side here. Go to Windows 
and open this up. So I'll expand this a little bit so you can see. Now what we're looking for here is we're going to come down to where it says registry and you should see now reg backup. It says it's ready. The status is ready, but it's not running. And we need to make sure this is running before we can get those backups going into that folder. So if you ever get a corrupted registry or your Windows is corrupted or something like that, and you can use this reg back folder to roll back to a time when your PC was working with the good known working uh, registry backups. Once we click on run here, you can now see the status is turned to running. And that means that system backups of our registry will be created in our reg backup folder. So now we've done this, we can close this window off and these will be updated every 10 days. So you will see backups being done in the reg back folder every 10 days. And I'm not sure why Microsoft turned this feature off, but it is a useful little area to recover uh, from a corrupted registry here or broken windows operating system. It's just another safety net. So if we go back into our system 32 and then in our config folder here and go back to reg back, you should now see that these files here, which is our reg registry, which is working on the system has now got a nice uh, cloned backup of those in this reg back folder, which means you can literally revert back by using the reg back uh, files. You can restore the system from those. I've made a video on this before, but if you want to see an updated video, I'll be happy to make that video for you, which means you can then recover from these reg back files and restore uh, your system back to a working state. Anyway, I hope that video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to Vitality, MS Marks Oxen, RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, PC Repair Tech, Mike Bigness, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. And thanks for your support. Bye for now.